This theory would be set after the Shampa Saga, Goku would be training on the planet of Beerus, Waisai would be giving very hard training to Goku, while Beida and the others were on planet Earth, Goku would have decided to go visit his friends. After two long months, however, he would be stopped by his master Waisai, who with a doubtful face, would say to him Goku, I feel something bad will happen to you. So go carefully and whatever happens do not hesitate to come to the planet of Beerus, Goku. Tells Waisai, Waisai-sama don't worry, I'll be fine, see you later. Waisai was suspecting that something bad was about to happen. Goku would feel the power of his friends, so teleporting to planet Earth. Once Goku arrives home, he sees that most of his friends were gathered. Goku laughing greets of all, however, no one would take him importance. Goku a little doubtful asks what is going on. But again no one would give it any importance. Goku getting serious would say what's wrong with them? Why are they ignoring me? What's going on? Bulma, Chi Chi, Krylin, Pan, Goten, Trunks and Picoro, which were gathered, they would not listen to Goku. Goku a little angry says, if it's a joke I'm not liking at all, answer why not talk to me. Suddenly Beida would appear, Gojin Sirius would say. Mr. Beida, at last it's time to get rid of my father's garbage. Goku hearing this, he would be shocked. Goku would not understand anything that was happening until they all looked with a cold look at Goku seriously says friends what's going on because those faces, did I do something wrong? If it was because I left for two months without warning I beg your pardon Kakarot you are completely useless, we don't need you anymore, you can get the hell off this planet, Goku would say, Beida what are you saying? Because I'm useless, father you only bring trouble to planet earth, the truth is we don't want you anymore, we don't need someone to protect earth anymore, Mr. Wills will take care of us, you only bring trouble and you're useless, Goku seriously what are you saying? Why are you doing this to me? Krylin says Goku get out of here, you are no one anymore, now we have Mr. Beerus, he will take care of us, and if you continue to be on this planet, you will bring us more problems, so do us the favor of leaving or die. Goku sad says, Krylin why are you telling me this, did I do something to you? I was always good to everyone and never hurt anyone, besides I always protected this planet as if it was my life, can't you see that we only use you? Bulma said angrily, what are you saying? Said Goku, surprised, we had decided from the beginning to use you since you were someone powerful, but now that Mr. Beerus is here we don't need you anymore, he will protect us all, besides, he is stronger than you, you are just trash, sad Goku would say, friends, why? I loved you like nobody else, I never had bad intentions with you, why did you do this to me? Because you are what you are, a trash that the only thing you do is eat, you never helped me in anything, I hope you die Goku, Chi Chi would say with a lot of anger, Goku hearing the words of his wife, would begin to draw a few tears, and that Picoro with a look of coldness says, Goku you were never Gojin's father, you were never there for your son, ever since Gojin was little I took care of him, I taught him many things, all of Gojin and Goten's childhood you were absent, you are not a real father, you disgust me, I wish you death, Goku very shocked, you too, but why, suddenly Goku starts to clench his fists tightly while saying damn you all, why are you doing this to me? You are all miserable people who don't know how to thank someone who protected your lives many times. You are the ones who deserve to die. I was always by your side. Damn it. Why? Stop whining and die. And Sekto said Beida and then threw a punch in his face. Goku would crash with some rocks. Gojin seriously says, Mr. Beida, let's finish with this scum once and for all. Goku gets up from the rock saying, damn you. You are all traitors. I will never forgive you. If it wasn't for me, all of you would be nothing but corpses. I will pay for each one of you. That's what I'm going to pay. Beida passes to the Super Saiyan Blue, approaching him a powerful blow, but with much rage and anger. He stops Beida's blow saying, Beida, you were like a brother to me. I never imagined that you would also betray me. Shut up, insect. You always get in my way. You are a disgusting being. Now let yourself be killed, Kakarot. Goku begins to deliberate, a great power emanating a very warm aura, and with a scream he transforms into the Super Saiyan. How could they? I will kill them. Goku throws himself against Beida. Beida could barely stop the attacks of Goku. 
but Gojin would go to his aid attacking from behind. However, Goku dodges the blow of Gojin, approaching him a powerful blow. Gojin falls to the ground. Beida would take advantage of the moment to hit him a strong blow in the stomach, sending Goku against the rocks. Bulma and Milk would say at the same time, Kill Goku. Beida and Gojin proceed to charge their best attacks. Final Flash, both launch their attacks. Goku a little hurt would be in serious trouble. Goku was about to dodge the attack, but Krylon appears throwing him a blow. Die you Goku. So Goku receives the attack of Beida and Gojin combined creating a gigantic explosion. That damn finally died, said Krylon laughing. Beida and Gojin were too tired because they used all their energies. But in that and the whole earth would start to tremble. What's going on? Asked the Namekian. Gojin very nervous would see impossible. Suddenly, a light would illuminate, appearing Goku, which was in its base state, emanating an uncontrollable power. His ki was rising colossally for every minute that passed. Beida, very shocked. It cannot be. How did he survive? Goku was in his maximum power form. Kaioken by 30. You guys tricked me. You're the worst. I can't believe my own family did this to me. Krylon screams. Kienza. But Goku's arm would be pierced, leaving all the warriors very impressed. Now follow, you, Goku said looking at everyone with an uncontrollable anger. But suddenly, Picoro shouts Mufuba. So, in a matter of seconds, Goku was locked in a bowl. Everyone was paralyzed, because they thought that Goku was going to kill them. Thank you very much, Mr. Picoro. I would say to Gojin now he will be locked for all eternity. Beida seriously says, you better have that thing well protected, if that breaks. That damn cockroach will come out and will not hesitate to kill us. Everyone nods their heads. But suddenly, a small portal would open. But what the hell? Picoro would say, the bowl would go through the portal. Thus closing the portal, everyone is stunned. Damn it, if that jar breaks, cockroach will come out and kill us. Gojin says, don't worry, Mr. Beida. We will train to become stronger. And if someday my father comes back, we will kill him. Beida just stares at Gojin seriously. The bowl falls on an unknown planet, breaking and leaving Goku out of the jar. When leaving, Goku would shake the planet where he was, drawing attention to several beings that inhabited that planet. Goku very furious looks everywhere to see where the others were, and goes to Asinarlos, but this would see that he was in a strange place, so calming down, where the hell am I? Goku wondered seriously, who are you? Said a girl and which was looking attentively to Goku, Goku seeing that the power of this did not exceed even a small part of his power, answer my name is Goku and I do not know where I am, mine is Kalafla and you are on the planet Sadala, I am the strongest of this planet, so you better not do anything wrong or I will end your life. Goku laughs lightly saying, I do not think you can defeat me, there is a big difference in power, Kalafla gets angry, what do you say? Now I'll show you how capable I am. Fine, if you're going to fight, attack me with all your might, as you wish. Then don't be sorry, Kalafla said and then attacked Goku, throwing many blows. But Goku would dodge them without problems saying that's all you've got. Kalafla very angry, miserable. Do not you dare to underestimate the Saiyan would begin to raise its power. Goku would be a little surprised. Wow, with that you had more power. Kalafla at great speed is launched against Goku. Both Saiyans were exchanging many blows. Goku laughing would say you fight too well, but you still lack much. Angry Kalafla would finish you as of place. Goku laughing says, well let's move on to the next level. Suddenly, Goku starts to increase his ki making everything. Around him tremble, what's going on? Goku while releasing a great power would say, I call this the Super Saiyans transforming into the Super Saiyan. Kalafla would be left with his mouth open. What is that power? You are not from this planet, are you? You never saw this transformation? Kalafla would say, I want you to teach me how to transform into Super Saiyan. Goku nervously says, well, to achieve this phase you have to get angry, get angry. Remember something bad that happened to you. Kalafla would concentrate and try to get angry, but couldn't Goku seeing that Kalafla couldn't decide to release more power? Kalafla confused, what are you doing? 
or with a smile, destroying the whole area. I'm going to kill everyone who inhabits this planet and then destroy it. Goku was still destroying uncontrollably everything. Cauliflower very angry, he goes to attack Goku, but Goku with a single blow leaves Cauliflower on the ground. Cauliflower gets up hurt saying you're a damn. For a moment I thought you were someone good, but I was wrong. Before I destroyed your planet I murdered you. That won't happen, I, I won't let you destroy my planet, murder mine. People, Goku and his thoughts says good, but good, keep it up and you can reach Super Saiyan. At that Goku throws a kick in Cauliflower's face, she goes flying against the rocks, that's all. What do you have? You're just a weak fighter, how do you think you're going to protect your people with such a low level of power? Cauliflower would get up seriously hurt damn it. It can't be that someone like you is humiliating me. Me, the great Cauliflower, Goku nervously says to himself, I think I'm overdoing it. Cauliflower with a lot of anger starts to raise her power uncontrollably. Goku surprised suddenly her power increased uncontrollably. This girl is not just anyone. Cauliflower with a screaming anger transforming into the Super Saiyan 2. Goku was more than impressed. How is it possible that she has passed to that phase so fast? Cauliflower very angry says, I'll finish you damn I'll make you swallow your words. This will be a lot of fun said Goku very excited. Thus, both would be about to start a great fight. This is going to be a lot of fun said Goku excitedly. Both throw themselves against each other, exchanging many blows creating great clashes of fists. Goku would give him a strong kick. Cauliflower receives it by counterattacking with an accurate blow in the stomach. Goku retreats saying, you are very strong. I did not expect you to get that power in a matter of minutes. If you keep this up, you could even reach Super Saiyan 3. Cauliflower very angry would not listen to Goku throwing himself against the Super Saiyan. Goku stops Cauliflower's attacks with much difficulty at that. Both throw a ball of energy. Both attacks collide creating an explosion. Goku becomes serious saying, you have not seen all my power. So he begins to increase his key. Cauliflower angry, you will not overcome me. Both Saiyans were raising their power making the whole planet tremble. Goku in a second throws a kick sending Cauliflower against the rocks. However, Cauliflower would get up, attacking. The fight was being very epic, until Goku laughing would say you're amazing, I never. Thought to meet someone who had that strength, Cauliflower seeing that the attitude of Goku changed tells him, why do not you act like before? Goku responds, I made a moment as a villain because I wanted to make you angry so you can get the Super Saiyan. Cauliflower would understand why before Goku was destroying everything. I see. I was making me angry so I can get the Super Saiyan. Ha ha ha. That's right Goku says. What do you think if we continue with the fight? Cauliflower laughing. All right. Let's start with the third round. Goku gets up about to throw himself against Cauliflower. But in that appears Kale. Kale to see his sister. He is surprised saying. What happened to you sister? Cauliflower answers. Do not worry. This is a transformation of the Saiyans. And you can also get this phase, is very powerful. Kale surprised, I, I can also get that power? Of course you can, this is called Super Saiyan at that Goku butts and saying, you're wrong, that's the Super Saiyan phase too. Cauliflower would be very amazed, Kale would shyly say, sister who is that guy, don't worry, he's a good person, besides he's very powerful, Goku detransforms and greets Kale with his typical smile causing Kale to blush. Cauliflower goes to her normal state saying, well, he seems to be a nice guy. By the way, what's your name? My name is Goku and I come from planet Earth. Cauliflower, they are confused. So you come from another planet? And tell us why are you here? Goku becomes very serious. Cauliflower and Kale would notice that Goku's attitude changed suddenly. Goku would go on to tell him his whole story and then tell them the people he considered family betrayed him. Kale and Cauliflower were very shocked. Cauliflower very angry. They are miserable. How could they do that to you? The next time I see them, I will not hesitate to kill them, Goku said with great anger. Kale and Cauliflower would be silent to see the hatred of Goku suddenly. Cauliflower's stomach sounds would be saying, well let's eat. You Goku come with us. Goku would accept and going to the castle of Cauliflower the three Saiyans would eat a great feast. Thus becoming night Kale would guide Goku to his room so Goku falls to bed dead tired. Today was a very hard day, who would have thought that in just one day my whole life would change. Goku remembers and analyzes everything that happened to him. The next day, Goku would get up very early to train. Goku would be training too hard because he wanted to finish with Beida and the others without lifting a finger. Suddenly, 
Cauliflower and Kale appear seeing that Goku was trying very hard in his training. Goku looking at both Saiyans offered them to train with him. Cauliflower and Kale would gladly accept because they wanted to become very strong and overcome Goku. They would spend days where Cauliflower having trained with Goku, which was a very strong being, would have been able to dominate the Super Saiyan, but however, could not control the Super Saiyan 2, while on the other hand, Kale had increased his power, but he could not control the Super Saiyan 2. Kale had increased his power, but still could not transform. As time passed, Cauliflower, Kale, and Goku were getting closer. Cauliflower and Kale would start to feel something for the Saiyan, while Goku would also start to feel something for both Saiyans. It had been two weeks since Goku was betrayed. Suddenly, Cauliflower appeared with a big smile. Goku confused. What's wrong with you, Cauliflower? Goku, would you like to go on a date with me? Said the Saiyan, very happy. Goku, surprised, would gladly accept. So, the next day, Goku and Cauliflower would laugh to a city. Arriving at the city, Goku would be surprised, saying, Wow, this planet is a lot like Earth. Only instead of there being people, there are Saiyans. While Cauliflower was very happy to date Goku, so this one proceeds to hug Goku. Goku, blushing, says, What's wrong, Cauliflower? Cauliflower laughing says, Goku you are most handsome man in the world. Goku would get too blushing, answering you are also very cute. Cauliflower would have wanted to be on this planet before. Both Saiyans proceed to stroll through the malls until suddenly everything would start to shake. What is going on? He wondered Cauliflower, it can't be. Whose gigantic power is this? Said Goku very shocked to witness a not normal power. Suddenly someone would appear in front of Goku and Cauliflower, who are you? I know Mr. Shampa, what are you doing here? Son Goku, so you are the being that emanated that great power I guessed it Son Goku what are you doing in my universe? Goku analyzing himself is impressed, that means I'm in universe 6. How did I end up here? Shampa seriously, you didn't answer me, what are you doing here? Goku proceeds to tell him everything that happened with the people he loved. Shampa would be very surprised, I see well, you are welcome to my universe. However, while you are in my universe, will obey everything I command you, Goku laughing. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Shimpa. Hey, Goku, that this guy. He is the god of this universe, Cauliflower, is surprised. A god? Does that mean he is the strongest in the entire universe? That's right, but don't worry. We'll soon be able to beat him. What did you just say, Sion? You'll never be able to beat me. Of course you will. Someday I will surpass the destroyer gods. Suddenly Vados appears. Vados is a little surprised to see Goku. Mr. Goku, what are you doing here? Goku laughing happens to tell him everything. Vados angry. But that terrible Goku, if you desire, I propose to train. Goku to hear this becomes very happy. Of course, if Vados sama, if I train with you, it's okay, then I will spend every day for you. Hey Vados, I didn't give you permission to train this mortal. If he becomes stronger, he can surpass me, and I don't want that to happen. But Shimpa, if Goku Sand becomes more powerful, you will have the strongest warrior of all the universes. It's true, I didn't realize that. Well, then come with us, son Goku. Wait, I would like Cauliflower and Kale to come with me. They both have incredible potential and are strong. As you say, more warriors for me. Goku would go in search of Kale quickly and then go to Shimpa's planet to train. Everyone would arrive, Vados would say. Before starting with the training, Shimpa Sama could have a fight with Goku. Goku laughing says, okay Shimpa laughing. Well, before sleeping I'm going to have some fun with you, Saiyan. You can do it, Goku. Defeat that god, you can Mr. San. With a smile he passes to Super Super Saiyan Blue. Well Mr. Shimpa, you better not underestimate me, Ja Saiyan. Alright I'll use a small part of my power. I really hope you keep up with me. I'll go for real. If you die it's not my problem. Goku Shimpa was ready to start the fight. Come on Goku you can defeat that pathetic god. What did you say? Goku, with a smile says, Mr. Shimpa, you better be prepared and I recommend you not to underestimate me. You are only a mere mortal. You will never reach the level of a god. Defeating you will be too easy. Goku would throw himself against Shimpa. Goku at a great speed appears behind Shimpa approaching him with a strong punch in the face. Shimpa receives it by counterattacking with an elbow in the stomach. Goku would leave crashing into some rocks. Was that all? You're just a weakling. The difference in power is immense. At that Goku comes out of the peaks laughing. This is just beginning. Goku raises his power teleporting me in front of Shimpa. 
giving him a set of blows with several bursts of energy. Shimpa, not seeing the movements of Goku, receives them being hurt. Damn you or Goku, you will pay for having hit a god. Goku answers, come on attack me with everything you have. Do not trust. Shimpa, very furious, say deliberate much power so in the blink of an eye, would appear in front of Goku. Goku perplexed by the speed of the god. Shimpa throws a ball of energy Hakai. Goku it would crash to the ground being seriously injured. Damn you, I did not expect that. Suddenly Shimpa hits him with a strong kick. Goku goes flying. But suddenly Shimpa grabs his leg crashing it against the ground hard. Goku screams in. Pain and then receives many rays that go through Goku's body. On the other hand, Cauliflower was screaming and could no longer stop the fight. Kale said very worried. Vados with a serious look says, if they keep fighting son Goku could die prior to the fight. Meanwhile, Shumpa with much anger was torturing Goku which was with many wounds while on the ground laughs. Wow, I think Sufstein the god is too powerful, but however Vados would be says, Mr. Shumpa, stop, if you continue like this, I could kill. Son Goku, Shumpa calms down saying you're right, Son Goku this fight is already over, you still have a long way to go to reach the level of the gods, push yourself and keep training, I'm aware that you are a very strong mortal, but you lack training, so everyone was about to leave, when suddenly where do you think you're going? This is not over yet, ha, huh? but what are you saying? Can't you see yourself? You are about to die, rest now, admit your defeat, I, I will defeat you, god of destruction. Goku said, and then his body was surrounded by a very powerful aura. Lightning surrounded Goku's body. But what? What the hell is happening? Everyone was watching Goku surprised, and that Goku begins to deliberate a great power. His ki was getting out of control. A fierce scream releases all this huge ki illuminating everything with a pink aura. Everyone who was watching you would be very shocked. Goku had obtained the transformation of the Super Saiyan Rose Shimpa very impressed. What the hell is that power? This is the Super Saiyan Rose. It's much more powerful than the Super Saiyan Blue. I had it saved for a special fight. I thought I could match Shimpa with the Super Saiyan Blue, but I couldn't. So I opted to move on to my last transformation. This is my eyes up my sleeve. This is my eyes up my sleeve. Goku would say with a smile on his face. Shimpa laughing. I admit that you have become more powerful, but that doesn't mean that you will defeat me. You are still the same weakling as before. Goku laughing. Shumpa, I warn you that this transformation is much stronger than the Super Saiyan Blue, since I was able to master it to its 100%, and if you don't believe me, then come and check it out. Shumpa, angry, are you challenging me, you miserable mortal? At that, Goku quickly charges a Super Kamehameha teleporting behind Shumpa and throwing it at him. Shumpa, not being able to see Goku's attack, receives it in its entirety, thus creating a huge explosion all over the planet. A little confident. I think I overcame. At that from the crater Shumpa comes out very damaged. So you survived. I thought so. Shumpa, without saying anything, launches himself forward and hits him in the chest. Goku is impressed, but he would counterattack with many energy balls. Shumpa would dodge them all attacking the Saiyan. Goku hardly stops the blows of the god when suddenly Shumpa suddenly increases his power making the whole universe tremble. Goku was shocked to witness the maximum power of a god of destruction. So this is the power of a god. It's amazing. Shumpa, it's time to end this, Goku says. Don't even think you can defeat me. At that Shumpa hits Goku hard sending. Him crashing into a wall, Shumpa slowly approaches Goku saying surrender, you can never defeat me. Goku said I will never surrender, I will never lose again, and I will not die until I can take revenge on those who betrayed me. At that Shumpa throws him a blow, Goku grabs him with one hand and throws a super energy ball in his stomach with all the strength he had, so Shumpa receives it. Shooting out and falling to the ground fainting while Goku would fall to the ground without energy and very. Wounded fainting, apparently this is a draw, wow, I never thought that Goku San had the power to rival a god of destruction, no doubt he is someone very interesting. Cauliflower and Kale go to Goku, it's nightfall and Goku is in his room sleeping, suddenly he wakes up, where am I? What happened? Suddenly Cauliflower enters the room, Cauliflower, what happened? Who won the fight? The fight was a draw, you're very strong, Goku, I can't believe you're a match for a god of destruction, ha ha ha, it was all thanks to the hard training I had before, and also those transformations to get even for everything that betrayed me, what do you mean? 
because that transformation I got it by releasing all my hatred for the people who betrayed me, I see. But hey, you'll have to teach me how to transform into all the Scion phases. And in return, I'll give you a reward, Goku with a smile accepting, Cauliflow was very happy with Goku, Goku thinking, hey, what reward will you give me? Cauliflow would answer, it's something I've been feeling for a long time, and what is it? Said Goku when Cauliflow would give Goku a super kiss, this left the Saiyan speechless, ah sorry Goku, it's that I, I, no, don't worry Cauliflow, said Goku blushing, these two Saiyans were obviously very much in love, Goku I know that right now you don't have anyone but I will support you no matter what, these words left Goku surprised, Cauliflow, I like you very much, exclaimed Goku leaving shocked a la Saiyan, so these two kissed passionately, starting a relationship for a long time, however on the one hand Kale would have seen on the sly, as these two kissed, the relationship was becoming more intense and loving, Goku and Cauliflower. They would start thinking about how to tell Kale that they are boyfriend and girlfriend, days would pass where Goku and the others would have already started training with Vados, exactly three weeks would have passed in which Goku had increased his powers a lot, but Kale and Cauliflow would have increased their powers overwhelmingly. One day, Goku would think about returning to Earth to take revenge on his friends, but he would be stopped by Vados. What's wrong? Revenge is no good, Goku Sand. Learn to control yourself. I know all that was done to you by those people who claim to be your friends, and I also know that you want to go to Earth to kill them, but that's no good, Vados would say, worried about Goku, Miss Vados. I think you're right, but still, if I don't come, I'll spend my whole life full of hate and I won't be able to be at peace. I want them to suffer everything I suffered, so let me go. Vados knew that if Goku went something bad might happen, but he's giving a sigh. He says okay, but don't kill them. Despite everything they did to you, they don't deserve to die. Goku serious, I don't assure you they'll make it out alive. At that Goku grabs the bucket heading to Earth. On the other hand, Beerus and Whis would also be heading to Earth looking for food. These two wouldn't know about anything that happened. Hey Whis, I wonder how everyone is. It's been a long time. No? But I have a feeling something bad is about to happen. Whis just looks at Beerus with a doubtful face. On the other hand, well, I'm already on Earth. Today is the day those bastards will suffer the pain they caused me. I'll try to find someone's key. At that, Goku would teleport appearing in front of everyone. All of Goku's former friends were at a party. I all this time I've been suffering a lot. While you guys, party. I won't hesitate to eliminate you bastards. You, all of you, you did me a lot of harm. I'll never forgive you. You will pay for what you did to me, Kakarot. But what are you doing here? Said the prince, very surprised. At last I'll be able to take revenge. I'll kill them all. Shouted Goku, expelling a great power. Beida quickly transforms into Super Saiyan Blue. Beida nervous Kakarot, you made my job easier. Now that you're here, I'll finish you off. Goku very angry. He no longer says anything. Both in one second, they launch into attacking each other, beginning to exchange multiple punches and kicks, creating large expansive slingshots. Come on, Mr. Beida, kill my miserable father. Goku hearing that would hurt him quite Gojin. After finishing off Beida, I'll go after you. At that, Beida would say, Kakarot, I will burn you to ashes. The Saiyan Prince and Goku would throw themselves against each other. Goku would hit him with a hard kick, sending him against the mountains, leaving Beida surprised. How did you get so much power? What is that speed? Suddenly, Goku appears in front of Beida and hits him in the face, sending the Prince of the Saiyans crashing into some rocks again. Goku increases his ki even more, while the injured Vegeta gets into a fighting pose, so Goku quickly launches a Super Kamehameha. Beida is very hurt. Damn this insect will kill. I must do something. I must get up. Goku would throw his Kamehameha, creating an explosion. Everyone was surprised as he would watch Vegeta fall to the ground totally defeated, while on one side Goku would be pierced falling to the ground. Damn it father, you keep causing us trouble. Go, Gojin retreat. I do not want to kill you. Come to my father. Come and I will kill if you dare. Damn you Gojin, I'm warning you. Suddenly Gojin, I don't care I will eliminate you. The Saiyan would begin to raise his maximum power, attacking. However, Goku would not be left behind. Both would hit each other. But Goku would be surprised that his blow did not affect his son, thus receiving a strong blow in the face causing Goku to fall to the ground. 
Goku would get up screaming with fury and using the Kaioken increased 20 times. Goku would throw himself against Goku, but with a single blow, Goku would kill Goku, everyone was in shock. The Saiyan begins to charge a mini Jinkadama to kill everyone, but in the distance Yamcha tries to attack him, but Goku would kill him with one hand. On one side Goten and Trunks appear seeing all their friends defeated, Trunks and Goten desperate, screaming and transforming into the Super Saiyan. Trunks and Goten desperately shout transforming into Super Saiyan 2, Father what are you doing? Goku seriously replies, they deserve it, I will now proceed to eliminate them, Goten very furious, why are you doing this? Don't you know Goten? I have not confused you, what are you saying? And that Trunks and Goten would fall fainted by the blow that Goku gave them in the neck Bulma crying, my Trunks know, Goten and Trunks do not know what you did to me, so you do not deserve to die, but instead you will die. Goku charges another ball of energy to eliminate all, when suddenly it is pierced, all are shocked. It was nothing more and nothing less than Beerus which had thrown many deadly rays. Goku falls to the ground detransformed, but what the hell? Said Goku, looking at the God of Destruction, Son Goku, why are you doing this to your friends? I know, Mr. Beerus, you don't know what these miserable scoundrels put me through? Beerus replies, I don't care about that. Now that I've seen your intentions, I'll have to exterminate you, Mr. Beerus. You're wrong. That bastard Kakarot attacked all of us. We didn't do anything to make him do this to us. Please end Kakarot's life. Beerus seriously, that's what I'll do. Beerus charges a ball of Hakai energy. Very angry Goku would say, damn it. Now even the God of Destruction is against me. I won't give up so easily. It's useless, son Goku. Your power is far inferior to that of the gods. You will never reach my level. Beerus was about to launch his attack, but receives a strong kick that would send him away. Goku and everyone is impressed. Goku looks up claiming that it was nothing more and nothing less than Kalafla in the Super Saiyan 2 and Kale in the Super Saiyan Legendary. Both had combined their attacks to damage the god. Kalafla Kale, what are you doing here? Says Goku getting up. Kalafla and Kale give a kiss on the cheek to Goku, leaving him very surprised. We will never leave you alone, Goku. We both love you. That's why we will help in everything. We love you, Goku. They said both at the same time, leaving open mouth to the Saiyan. On the other hand, Beida notes this very angry. Damn you. Are those our allies of Kakarot? Meanwhile, Beerus would get up without scratches and emanating an overwhelming key. How dare they hit a god? Kalafla and Kale are paralyzed. You two get out of here as soon as possible. I'll take care of him. No, we won't leave you alone. We'll help you defeat him. You're just a hindrance. His power is nothing compared to a god. We already know that. Do you think we came empty-handed? What do you mean? Kalafla gives a laugh. That's why we've been training all this time. Now you'll see our true strength. Goku was too confused. When suddenly Beerus would approach quickly towards where the Saiyans were, Kalafla laughing starts to raise his power huge. Goku was shocked. What are you trying to do? Kalafla gives a scream. Being surrounded by a red aura, Goku was stunned. As well as Beerus, Beida, and the others, Kalafla would have transformed into the Super Saiyan God. Impossible. Who are you? Beerus wondered very impressed. No, I did not expect this. Kalafla is surprising how quickly reached this stage. Well, honey, let's go to defeat that god. You call me honey. Goku would say confused and then both go to attack the god of destruction. Beerus angry apparently. I will have to use a little more of my power. Kale, Kalafla, and Goku attack Beerus giving him multiple blows. But Beerus would not do much damage to that the god happens to counterattack hitting hard to Kale and leaving it out of combat. Kalafla, this will be difficult. It is more powerful than the god Shimpa. Yes, it is much stronger than Shimpa Sama. Beerus very angry disappears. Goku and Kalafla are surprised. Where did he go? I do not know, but be attentive. Suddenly, Beerus appears in front of Goku giving him an accurate kick with great force breaking a rib to Goku, making him scream in pain and this being unable to resist falls to the ground. And that Beerus appears in front of Kalafla saying, Hakai, but Kalafla dodges him barely and angry. I would say damn God, why attack Goku? He didn't do anything wrong. Anyone who hits my Goku will be finished. Kalafla throws multiple punches at Beerus, who dodges and stops. Then without difficulty, you have great potential. Too bad you're going to die along with your friends. Beerus with a blow in the stomach makes Kalafla pass to the Super Saiyan. Beerus laughing hits hard to the Saiyan leaving her on the verge of death. 
Kale screaming goes to help his sister, Cauliflower resists, while on the other hand, Beerus was grabbing Gotti's neck, he starts torturing him meanwhile, Kale, I couldn't do anything against that god, I'm completely useless, and now, because of my stupidity, Goku is suffering, Kale very hurt, answer it's not over yet, we can win, at that, Cauliflower looks up, seeing how Goku was drawing blood, this one witnessing this, begins to deliberate a great anger increasing all his power and attacking that little girl, he doesn't understand, Cauliflower escapes, you won't be able to beat him, shouted Goku, Cauliflower with a lot of anger, damn god I'll kill you, at that, Cauliflower would be pierced, Goku in great pain would give a loud scream, Cauliflower no, oh, well done Beida, Beerus would say, seeing how Beida pierced the body of Cauliflower, Goku is perplexed, he would get white eyes and starts to cry because my cauliflower, because I will kill you, I will destroy you, I will destroy you, there will be no trace of you too. And that. Goku would begin to remember cauliflower, starting to increase his musculature. I, 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 I will kill them all. I, 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 I can't do it anymore. 